everyone and welcome back to Energy to Angels. I'm Mary Beth Murphy and we're in the Archangels and today we're going to be talking about Azrael and Raziel as my friend just called them Az and Raz. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not hooking them up because of their names. It's just funny. <laughs> um, but anyway, Azrael is um, the Archangel, here we go, the Archangel of Death. <laughs> And now death is not a bad thing. I want you to know that. Death is, part, is a natural transition. We will all, our physical bodies will all die at one point and transition back to the earth. But our soul will transition to the other side. You've heard the term of moving into the light or crossing over. That is just another transition. So actually if you want to look at death, death is actually a rebirth into another time-space continuum which is the other side. So it really shouldn't be something that's feared, though a lot of people do fear it. And Azriel will help you with understanding death better. He's also in charge of um, helping you communicate with, cro with loved ones who have crossed over to the other side. And basically that will happen. You can you know, hire the services of a medium if you'd like to, but basically the individuals who have crossed over to the other side can get a message through to you with the help of um, Azriel via your dreams. Um, you've heard, um, I know I've heard a lot of stories, and this has actually happened to me as well, is um, my father, who passed away quite a long time ago, has shown up to me in dreams, very, very vivid dreams, and as if he was standing right next to me. And when they happen like that, when they're very real and they're very vivid, it means that they actually are there. You're getting a visitation. It's not a dream. So if you've had that from other people who have crossed over to the other side and are in the light and have come back to visit you um, if via a dream, it really is a visitation. And it's, it's usually filled with peace and love and comforting to know that they're, going, they're doing well, they're on the other side, they're moving um, on with their transition, their soul is growing and things are okay. It's just always hard for us who are left here when our loved ones have crossed over to the other side because we're left missing them so much. But that love never dies, it always continues, so please be aware of that. And Azriel will help you with that. He will help you understand the transition. He will help you communicate with your loved ones on the other side via the dreams. And he can give you the information that you need to know that everything is okay with the people who have crossed over. He also helps souls who have crossed over. So if you have a relative that has passed recently, um, Azriel was there helping them transition to the other side, helping them do a little bit of their life review. There's other archangels as well as the guardian angels that will help them with their life, reveal, uh, life review, but help them with the transition. Because you have to think, like when you move to another state, you don't know really where you're going, what you're doing, and sometimes a friend can come along with you or someone, a neighbor that you just met can help you with that transition. So if you can think of Azriel that way, he's helping with the transition, moving to a new space. Azriel is also in charge of helping those who help others, such as counselors, counselors, therapists, and counselors and therapists also show up as teachers too. And teaching doesn't necessarily mean you're in front of a group full of kids in a high school or a grammar school. It can definitely mean that. But teaching can mean other things, such as um, doing a one-on-one -on -one teaching a seminar or doing a group seminar or just sitting with a friend and showing them something. Teaching takes on many shapes and sizes. But natural counselors um, are, are therapists, are psychologists, are um, counselors, are teachers. And sometimes natural counselors even show up as bartenders <laughs> and uh, show up as hairstylists because of the way they listen to people when they're sitting there at a bar. Not the best way, but also when they're cutting their hair. So um, if your hairstylist feels more like a counselor, it's because she probably is <laughs> or he is. <laughs> so um, Azriel will help those who are, who are um, here to help others. He will, if you're getting called to start a counseling practice or if you're getting called to um, become a counselor or a teacher, um, he will help you open up the doors to bring that information into you and provide you with some of assistance along the way, like some of your needs, like if you're going back to school, some of your financial needs will be met or getting the grants and things that you need to move forward on your path in a counseling or healing way as a you know, therapist, counselor, psychologist, teacher. Um, so he will help you with that. So if you're getting a call into those professions, definitely call in Azriel and he can open up those doors and provide you with the insight you need to help you on your path. The other archangel I'd like to talk about is Raziel. 
Now Raziel is, um, he's basically the alchemist <laughs> of the other dimension, of the higher dimensions. He's the wizard, the professor. Um, he works with um, um, esoteric shapes and sizes and geometric figures and things like that. If um, He's basically the mathematician of, of the higher realms. Um, he encourages us to take back our power and manifest our dreams into reality. That's what, that's what alchemy is. If you've, you've, um, there's a very famous book out there called The Alchemist. It's a, very, it's a quick story, but a very beautiful story of how this person took a journey all around the world to discover what was right in front of him, right underneath his feet. And taking your ideas, um, the, the real definition of alchemy is taking um, uh, crystals or taking uh, stones and turning them into gold. It's taking whatever you want and making it into gold. And some people do practice um, alchemy, which is, um, manif which is taking things and shifting it into gold. That is a form, that is a practice. It's an ancient practice. Um, but if you want to find out more about alchemy um, or the book The Alchemist, you can go to the internet and look that up. But um, Raziel is in charge of taking our ideas and making them into gold. That's the alchemy we can do right here, right now. It's taking all our wonderful talents, taking our beautiful ideas that are given to us from the divine and turning them into gold. And uh, Raziel will help you understand that. He'll come into your dreams and reveal things to you that defy normal logic. That's his job because alchemy does defy normal logic. It doesn't make sense if we look at it logically. And that's the wonderful thing with the divine. Nothing <laughs> really makes sense because it's divine. We as humans are always operating from such a linear perspective. If we look at our lives, lives are nothing but, it's not three-dimensional, it's many dimensions. And that's why we always say the six senses and, and working in this, in this um, art form of the metaphysical or the esoteric arts, it's looking at things from a different perspective. And that's what Raziel will do, is helping you look at things from a different perspective. So you just don't see the one path, you can see many different paths to bring your dreams into fruition and he will help you understand that as well. Um, also is, is to accepting our own power. That's the other thing in manifesting our stuff and manifesting our dreams, our wishes and desires into reality is to be powerful enough to do that, is to recognize that you are a divine being having a physical experience and who are you not to be wonderful and wealthy and amazing and, and rich in all areas of your life, not just money, but all areas of your life. He wants you to step into that power. And when you step into that power, you can take anything and turn it into gold. That's the purpose of Raziel, is to see that understanding and to know that understanding. And if you want deep divine secrets, work with him. He'll come into your dreams and he'll leave you that information. You might not remember it upon awakening, but it'll definitely be there and help you move forward on your path of turning whatever you want into a reality. So I hope you enjoyed learning more about Az and Raz, <laughs> Azriel and Raziel. And please remember that the angels haven't taken you this far to let go of you now. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.